Okay, so to set up your household income targeting, uh, basically the first thing you need to do is get to the campaign level and you need to choose a campaign that you want to apply this to. So we're just going to choose a campaign here and then you want to jump into your settings. So you click on the settings tab right here and obviously we want to go to the locations right here. Now under locations you're going to see all the, the locations that you have targeted and you want to click add a location. You want to scroll down and you want to click advanced search. When you do that, it brings up another dialog box and there you have location groups. Click on location groups and then choose location group type as a drop down. From there, you can hover down and choose locations by demographics. Once you're in the demographics section, you can then see select household income tier. And here you choose top 10% and it asks you within enter a location. So we have to enter a location where we are choosing the top 10% of average household incomes. So since this campaign is targeted to Texas, as a state, I'm choosing Texas as the um, target by which we want to set this, lo this household income tier. So we'll go ahead and add it. And then we'll click Add here. And as you can see, now we have average household income of the top 10% within Texas. And we can continue to do this it's by 11 to 20% add, 21 to 30% add, 31 to 40% add, 41 to 50% add, and lower 50% add. Now, when we complete that and click done and save, now we're gonna see that we have targets set up to target everyone in Texas, but we also have specific targets for people that are at different household income levels. Right now we have zero data on these additional levels because we have just started these campaigns. But over time we'll collect data and then we can come in and say, oh, let's increase our bids for average household incomes that are in the top 10% within Texas. Let's increase those by 25%, let's say. That's just an example. You have to use your data in order to determine which of these tiers actually drive the most conversions for you at the best cost per conversion, at a good conversion rate, um, or whatever the KPIs are that you're using. But that essentially is the basics for it. So that wraps up this tutorial.